Man, I'm so worried about SHTF, WROL. I don't have any guns. I'm looking at maybe getting a gun. I ain't got much money, but I need something that's going to get the job done. What's up, guys? Piemonte89 here, as always. This is going to be a video that I'm going to call the Rimfire Warrior. So a lot of you guys out there, well before I get started, thank you Vamp for letting me use the tripod, much appreciated, much needed. So back to what I was saying, so maybe you're out there, you're looking for a gun, you're worried about what's going to happen in the future, possibly the near future, you're looking for something that's going to defend you, and uh, something you can carry on you. In an emergency, SHTF, shit hits the fan, or WROL, without rule of law. Maybe you've considered the 9mm, because it's very economical. It's got a lot of power behind it. Maybe, maybe you got a little bit more money. Maybe you want a uh, AR-15. Wouldn't be bad. Proven design. Maybe you're just dirt poor. Maybe you're so damn poor you can't even afford SKS. You want a center fire real bad. So you're really up gun to a 762 by 54R. Maybe none of these options are that effective in the first place. Maybe what you want is not a center fire after all. Why? very simple reason because it's going to weigh you down and you're not going to be able to get enough ammo for it so what's a really good option an alternative to the center fire rounds and a lot of people are going to laugh when I say this because how about a 22 long rifle A measly 40 grain bullet, originally meant for shooting small games such as rabbits, maybe squirrels, etc, etc. Who would ever think that this round could be capable of taking down a person? But guess what? They take down people every day. And they're the reason, above all other calibers, for people dying in the United States of America every year. But you just can't believe that, can you? You can't believe that a little 40 grain bullet could protect you from a guy maybe carrying a 38 special. You can't get over the fact that this might be all you can afford. Piedmonti says, fret not. It's not the size of the bullet. It's, it's a shot placement. Trust me, I have friends, and they're all thinking the same thing. Oh, I'm going to get one of those badass Mosey Nagants. Uh, yeah. Big old nasty 762 by 54 with some Russian armor-piercing rounds. But, uh, you ever stop for a second and think about what else you're going to need to carry? Something to have light, create light, tools, and I highly recommend some sort of multi-tool. doesn't matter the quality as long as it'll hold up and work for you. Maybe a Swiss Army knife. And above all else, Tons and tons of food, water, and ammunition. And guess what? You're not going to be able to carry much ammunition with a 148 grain bullet. Guess what? You can with a 40 grain bullet. And it's been proven. As I said, it's killed more people than anybody else in the United States. Or more, or this caliber's killed more people in the United States than 
any other caliber. The Mafia has used it. Assassins have used it. People that don't know anything about gun safety kill themselves with these things all the time. Overlook it as a little varmint round. Nothing special. But you know what I can carry instead of this big old hunk of metal right here? Because this is really heavy. This is about a nine pound gun, guys. Ugh. How about a nice weather resistant light Marlin 795? Maybe you're not into the whole semi automatics for 22s. Totally understandable, being that they are a rimmed cartridge and a rim fire. That's fine. How about this? I don't know how you can see that. It's a Savage Mark II. This is the classic version. This is not the exact version I would recommend for shit hits the fan if that's what you're in there for. I bought this uh, at Dick Sporting Goods. It was 50% off, so I grabbed it. I got a nice tripod on it. Or, I'm sorry, bipod. How about a nice 22 handgun? It's been said plenty of times, especially by people like Doc Tech Dead. Anybody can use a 22. It doesn't kick. Okay. Is this the most practical handgun for SHTF? No. It's a 42 ounce Ruger Mark III target model with a bull barrel. It's got the thick barrel. By the way, as you see, the gun is unloaded. Okay. But I can shoot and hold thousands of rounds that I could not otherwise afford or carry due to the weight. Even in something like the 9mm. Okay. It's just not going to happen. Not realistically speaking. If you're going to bug out, you're going to want something much, much lighter. And uh, if you don't have a 22 caliber gun, I would highly, highly recommend that you pick one up. The ammo is cheaper, it's more plentiful. You've got all different kinds of ammunition uh, made for different things. This is a standard velocity, this can be used for small game and plinking. You've got the velocitors go out farther, hollow points, higher velocity. You've got Federal Champion, which is extremely affordable. You got these little Winchester Wildcats. You got a lot of different ammunitions you could pick up for your 22. Um, especially if you're going to shoot with a bolt action. And uh, by the way, if you're going to get a bolt action, let me recommend you get something with a box magazine. Okay? None of that single shot stuff. You're going to want something with a little bit of capacity to it. In fact, the 10 round magazines the Savage comes with, for a lot of people, are not enough. But that's all Savage has. So, you know, I take what I can get. So, uh, and they don't make extended magazines for the Mark III. But you know what? 11 rounds of 22, because I'm counting the one in the chamber, obviously, is better than nothing. And it can get the job done. And uh, without a lot of recoil, you're going to hit those vital areas when you need to. Or uh, you just spray them. <laughs> but you can get the job done with the 22. Uh, some very disturbing news I found out when I went to go pick up this gun. Um, if Obama does get reelected, guys, you got to hear this real quick. If Obama does get reelected, he is going to try and pass a bill that is going to really hurt uh, the gun community as a whole. He's going to attack us by thinking outside the box. He is trying to pass a bill or write something up in which ammunition, and, and by the way, CCI is one of the main companies he's targeting. Let me see this cartridge real quick so I can show you what I'm talking about, too. Okay. He's trying to 
Number one, he's going to try and uh, tax ammunition up to the point where it could be triple the price of what it is already. Okay? Which is outrageous. He's also talking about putting a tax on gun owners, on their income. Uh, and above all else, it's really scary. He's going to try and make it so the primers uh, are no good after two years. Which means you cannot hoard your ammo and uh, keep stockpiles of it. So, if you think that Obama's going to get reelected, guys, I don't know if he is or not, but if you think he is, um, I would recommend you pick up as much ammo as you can now and not have to worry about it. Unless you're a reloader, but it'll probably tax you for everything else, too. Um, all the reloading supplies and stuff. And they're going to put a limit on the amount of gunpowder you can buy at one time. So, keep that stuff in mind. Um, this is only part one. This isn't a very... Um, in-depth video yet and I do plan on doing more as time goes on it is late at night but I had to get this out of my system because I'm one of those guys when I have an idea in my head I can't sleep and uh, we're gonna touch base on this a lot more uh, in a couple of days and uh, when I have some time at the range so uh, till then remember anti-gun is anti-american Piedmont 89 out peace